Holy shit. Three zombies over there. I don't know if I spawned those then or if that was somebody else. I'm gonna go ahead and take my, uh, take my machete out here. Is that... Is that what I think it is up here? Okay, so that's a broken down car. Okay, okay, I gotcha. I didn't know if that was uh, an actual car or not. I'm hoping that I don't find an actual car at all. I mean, that would be very true to, uh, to how the DayZ mod was initially, where you couldn't really find vehicles. Oh shit, what the fuck? What the hell? He like... That zombie just like knocks me down. Wow. I've never seen a zombie do that before. That's crazy. And of course there's this... Little stupid leaping animation. Oh. Alright, got myself a little backpack now. Literally a little backpack. And, uh, so yeah, I got somewhere to, somewhere to store all this cool loot that I'm able to find around the world. Let's go ahead and come down here. I don't think there's going to be very many places I'm, I'm going to be able to loot, though. Alright, now I'm bleeding. So it's probably just going to be a good idea to try to stay clear of these guys for now. Until I'm able to find uh, a better weapon, obviously. You know, I'm obviously going to keep out the machete just in case I need to swing an attack, but... For the most part, I think I'm just going to stick to uh, running away from these guys and avoiding them at all costs now. Seeing as I've only got the one bandage, I'll probably, I mean, I will eventually work my way into Electro, like I said earlier, and uh, hopefully be able to find, like, a box with some medical supplies or something like that there. Yeah, there's nothing up here. Nothing worth checking out. So hopefully I'm going to be able to lose these zombies right around here. And then I'll be on my merry little way. Yeah, I think I lost them. Ooh, okay, here we go. Hunting knife. Now I can start to gut those animals I was coming across. Couple of wood piles, nothing really... Nothing really worth it. Um... Let's see... Probably go up these stairs first and check what else up here. What are you doing down there, zombie? Uh, I don't know if there's. What is that? An empty can of soda. Some sandbags. It's not worth it. Not worth trying to get up there right now. See nothing down here. Now, for those of you that do not know, these steps are very dangerous, so you want to be careful when you uh, go to maneuver around them. Oh wow, that's a different looking can of Pepsi. I'll go ahead and drink it though, and eat this can of corn while I'm at it, because. Uh, those meters needed to be replenished, and it looks like they don't fully replenish like uh, like they do in Epoch and Overpoch and all that kind of stuff like that. So it looks like you have to eat and drink a couple times to get it all the way full. Didn't look like that did much either. And, uh, hmm. Nothing up here. It's interesting. 
Uh, hmm. So yeah, maybe it was a waste of time for me to come up here. Maybe, maybe loot does spawn up here. It's just that someone's already been up here and got all the good loot. So I'm just going to go ahead and continue my journey over towards Electro since it looks like this has already been cleared out. Alright, so I'm just north of Electro, and it looks like there's quite a few zombies walking around already. Don't know if those were triggered by me or somebody else. Probably gonna be triggered by somebody else, though. But I don't know, we'll see. A few zombies down there in the town already. Hmm, it's going to be interesting for sure. Just to see how many, uh, how many players I come across. I'm also very interested to learn what kind of loot we're going to have down here as well. Um, seeing that it is the original mod and it doesn't seem like the, uh, like whoever scripted or coded the server or whatever, it looks like they didn't really add too many special features, which is good, which is, you know, like, like I said earlier, what I was looking for, but, um, would be nice to find a gun at some point. I was able to pull a little less than half of a Makarov mag off a, uh, zombie that I killed, and it seems to me like a lot of the zombies actually spawn with gear on them already so yeah let's see what this guy had yeah he had some uh, some pellets on him and it didn't even come up with the correct symbol that you would assume would come up if a, if a zombie was to have gear on him and take the crowbar I don't know exactly what I would use a crowbar for in this mod but okay but yeah, like I was saying, um, the little symbol that would normally indicate that a, uh, a zombie or a player has gear on them, that symbol never popped up for a lot of these other zombies. That's why I just figured uh, that none of them had gear on them to take. So, but I don't know. I mean, hopefully we'll find something around here in this firehouse. It looks like there's a can of food over here. Um, I'll probably just go ahead and eat that right away since I'm low on food. Oh my god. An AK-74. Fuck yes. Now we're, we're, uh, we're cooking with fire here. And a fucking pistol? What? Hell yes. Why there are AKs and pistols laying around in a firehouse, I will I've never been able to understand that about about the mod or the standalone, but thank god that there is. Cause now I'm at least a little bit more well equipped to uh, handle zombies and obviously other players. Probably gonna go to the corner store over here though now. Oh, that's a player. Did he have anything on him? Alright, so I'll definitely take his bandages, his painkillers, and that's about it. It sounds like we got a vehicle coming in too. 